everyone welcome back to my channel so today I will be sharing the light elegant champagne and caviar collection yes I know this was released last year around this time for the 2020 winter but I purchased it and I still want to share it with you guys because <laughs> they already do have out their current winter collection but I haven't been able to get my hands on that one yet so I'm hoping that I will be able to soon so if you'd like to see more in regards to my thoughts and opinions in regards to the champagne and caviar collection stay tuned okay so today I will be sharing the light elegance champagne and caviar winter 2020 collection so they already released their winter 2021 collection this collection i showed in a prior haul video which i will have linked in the cards for you so this one is a six piece collection so light elegance usually with their containers when you are ordering the larger pots you get like a little color swatch on the lid but when you order the minis unfortunately you don't get them so next time I think if I can I'm gonna order like the larger pots from now on depending on the colors and it's usually like a two-piece collection so you usually get your color gels and your glitter gels but the glitter gels don't come in mini they only come in a larger size so let's dive in so this is another six-piece collection and we have made of money sitting pretty in a penthouse Pampered to perfection, first class only, bougie babe, and living lavish. And for this swatch video, I will be using my finger. I did wash her, but I was doing some other stuff. And, you know, there's just a little bit of glitter and stuff. So, excuse that. Um, I also forgot to mention that I actually had to open one of the colors. <laughs> because I needed a red. And it wasn't the right, like I had a red. But it wasn't the right one that I needed to create a set. Which I will try and have linked or I'll show like a picture here for you guys so I had to open and figure out which red it was but I only opened one and funny enough it was like a red that I could use for the set I created anyways onto the swatch okay so first up is bougie babe oh this is beautiful so see here it looks more reddish but on the lid it's like, it has like a hint of purple, but in the jar it's like a maroony, burgundy type of color. This is interesting. So Bougie Babe is a, like, it's like a dark maroony purple. I love this. Like, you guys know already that I'm going to love this. And it actually applies brighter than what's in the pot. Like, you guys can see, this is, like, really interesting, the way that it applies compared to what's shown here. And funny enough, this is showing up true to life in the pot and then true to life on here. So this I love, love, love. So this is one coat. Definitely going to go in with a second. And this is Bougie Babe at two coats. Look at how cool that is. Like at the sides you can really see the purple. But then it looks more maroony. This is such an interesting color. And here's what Bougie Babe looks like against my skin tone. Super pretty and very, very pr pigmented. Next up is First Class Only. Oh, wow. Yes, this one I'm going to have to use for another Christmas set because it is so pretty. So First Class Only looks like a rich burgundy red. And it looks like it has like a shimmery finish almost to it.
this is first class only with one coat. It does have that like pearly finish to it, but it is so beautiful. You could very easily get it with one coat, but I am going to go in with a second. Here is first class only against my skin tone. Very, very gorgeous red. Next up is Living Lavish, and this is the color that I actually did open because I was looking for a red. So this is like, it's almost that red of like, Santa's outfit like if you can think of that classic red that they use for Santa's outfit This is what this reminds me of it is a very pretty red It has some silver flecks going through but when I used it I was actually really impressed by it and it has like a pinky undertone to it again This is showing up like true to life So here's Living Lavish with just one coat. Very, very concentrated. Like, I'm not gonna go in with a second coat because as you can see, it is fully opaque with just the one coat. And here's what Living Lavish looks like against my skin tone. Such a pretty red, especially for this time of year, and it's very, very opaque. Okay, and next is Made of Money. Just by the name alone, Made of Money, I feel like this one's gonna be the green. Ooh, I was right. Ooh, this is really pretty. So this is a green and it has like that pearly shimmery finish to it. Very very pretty color. Again a really nice one for the holidays. I might go in with a second coat, I'll see. And here is what made of money looks like I am in love with this green and you guys know I don't really gravitate towards greens but this one very nice I think it's especially because of the time of the year it's a really really nice green I can see this being used for like mermaid nails or kind of like ocean nails beach nails very next nice. is pamper to perfection This is gorgeous. So Pampered to Perfection is a very, very rich maroon color. Initially, you guys did see though, when I opened the pot, it looked more brown, but definitely is more maroony. Very, very pretty. And this is Pampered to Perfection against my skin tone. I love vampy vampy colors like this like I always think they're so pretty and last but not least is sitting pretty in a penthouse Ooh, this is very pretty off the bat I will say that this is showing up more pink in the camera than it is in real life like this is more of a it has more of a purpley tone to it, like a mauve purple color. And 
sitting pretty in a penthouse is a very pretty berry pink. I am seeing like some maroony purpley undertones to this color. Again, this is showing up a lot brighter than what I'm seeing in real life. This should be like maybe a shade or two darker than what my camera's picking it up. This is what sitting pretty in a penthouse looks like against my skin tone. This is a very, very nice color. I just wish my camera was picking up what it looks like in real life. And here we have it for the Light Elegance Champagne and Caviar collection. So let me know what you guys think. Did you think that this or these colors work for the winter um, collection? I personally feel like maybe five out of the six could work for a winter collection. Like these ones and then these two. It's this one that's kind of throwing me because I don't really see this as a winter color or even as a fall color. I see this more like a springy kind of color but again to each their own. Let me know what you guys think and what your thoughts are. Which colors did you like the most? Honestly I really liked these two. I like this one because of the purpley undertone but these two I guess it's just because of the time of the year but you guys know, I already like this one. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos and tuning in with me. You can follow me on my social media links down below. And as always, I will have everything in the description box as to where you can purchase these products as well. And please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I post more content. As always, guys, stay glamorous.